All right, today we're gonna do a tree climbing demo. Uh, all this stuff is used in arboriculture. This is these are an arborist tools. Um, first off is safety. So we have our climbing helmets, nice uh, Petzl climbing helmets, and we have our chainsaw helmets with ear protection, and our screen mask. And whenever we go up, we always use eye protection for any falling debris. Um, and then next to get up there, we need our rope. This is Yale Cordage. I believe it's roughly 100 feet. And this is, thank you, this is Arborplex. It's an older rope, but still just as good. You keep your tools nice and clean. Uh, and we have two saddles. Uh, we have a, this one, the floating D-ring, which you hook into, and you can slide your rope back and forth. And we also have this double D-ring, which keeps you centered. Uh, we also have tree safety. It's a cambium saver. This way, the rope friction on the bark doesn't eat into the tree at all. And then also, whenever operating equipment or retying, you have to tie yourself in again with a lanyard. We have three lanyards right here. We have a relatively new one a slightly older model and we have the old school style which right now is holding up my chainsaw chaps on here which is just uh, two rope snaps and a friction knot we also have chainsaw gloves and rope gloves to help keep your hands safe from the friction and we have the single locking carabiner which twists this is not recommended because again it's only single locking all of our rope snaps our double locking, you have to press this lever in to get this lever out. And there's also triple locking carabiners on here, which have a button on the inside. So you have to push that, you have to twist, and you have to pull back, and it, it automatically locks. Uh, we also have a chainsaw and a pruning saw. Beforehand, I threw a throw line up in this sycamore over here. So we're going to put on these saddles and take a rope to try to get it up in the tree. He's going to be my ground man. He's going to essentially be my safety guy. If he sees anything or spots anything that could potentially be harmful, he's going to let me know. And if the rope does slip, he will be there to catch me. <laughs> So first things first, you uncoil your rope. Here we go. Now we're gonna uh, install our cambium saver. We're gonna feed it through. Can I see? I'm going to tie a slippery hitch. I'm going to do the thing. Jack. Jack, I see the little thing. Why did he just tie him down? Because he's trying to... No, he's trying to unknot the tie. Okay. I'm climbing the rope itself. I'm not climbing the tree. So I'll be pulling on full of the, uh, the ropes here. So foot locking is essentially you bring one of your feet up and underneath you bring your other foot and you step on the rope on top of your other foot. quite get as far as I'd like to, but as you can see that takes a lot of upper body strength, a lot of coordination with your feet. So, for a short climb, that's fine, but for a much taller climb like this, I'm actually going to tie myself in to keep the foot ascending. Now what happens is, the rope goes in one way, 
And so when you push down, it's got these little spikes that hold the rope stationary. So every time you can slide your foot up, once you put pressure on it, it locks the rope. And uh, another safety thing is to always have some sort of knife with you. That way if anything does go wrong in the tree and a rescuer fumbles or something, he can always use your knife to send you down. So now I'm going to tie my knot. I, I want to walk tail to my bridge later. First, I'm going to tie a bowl in. <laughs> so I've got my bowl unsecured. Before I make my bridge, I'm going to tie a figure eight in the middle. That way, if anything does go wrong, the rest of knows where to cut the line to send you down. So, <laughs> with the rest of my tail, I'm going to tie a flight hitch around the other end of the rope. Okay. 